So I'm sorry that you won't be able to comment or that you haven't been able to comment because it says um, it's locked and I didn't even know. So I'm sorry if you're trying to. And um, comment down below if you want to learn something, if you want to know something and just suggest ideas for me. Cause, and I'm sorry I haven't been posting lately because I have um, sports. And it's hard when I get home late to get these, um, get these things done. So, yeah, move on to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Tips and tricks you need to know. Saltwater edition. So let's get right into it. Number one, know what fish you're trying to catch. This is very important because you don't want to just go out there fishing and just not catch a new bite because you're not looking for a specific fish. Usually only target one fish, but you don't have to. Just something to look forward to. Number two, different use different gear. This is important because some might catch this fish and then some might catch that fish. Um, so for a real, so a saltwater reel that's adjusted it helps with breakdown and rusting that's what a saltwater reel does and um so and um bring fresh bait like bring not just some soft bait squishy you no know, smelly throw out the old and that's took the bait bring fresh bait and on to number four. So I don't think it's number four. I think it's actually number three. I'm sorry about that. Use different rigs. Use some rigs to catch bait. To catch some little fish. Or how big the fish are. Then use to put that bait on. Or to put bait on. Then you can catch even bigger. And they could eat them. And whatever. Now on to number four different rod sizes especially surf fishing this is really important because you need to cast them long long distances and some a little bit shorter it kind of goes with number three for you different rigs but now this is different rods and i'm going to bring like for surf fishing um like 10 12 9 some to cast a little bit farther and some to cast a little bit shallower. Um, number five, keep your live bait in a covered bucket or just a covered area. And you don't want to use some like fridge water or fridge that like you don't know where it came from. Use the fish that other fish are swimming. If especially you're at your pier and you like have a bucket and there's no way you can get the water. Have a string attached to that bucket or whatever you have, and it will drop down and cut the water. So, it's not another tip, but it's all in one. Um, it's a great way. So number six, actually, consider fishing from a like public pier, like I was saying, um, cause this is a great way to get experience for saltwater fishing. Then you move on to other stuff, offshore surf fishing, and this is not a saltwater tip, but like stuff to learn while fishing. So, cause it's kind of short six, so it's only been like a couple minutes. So, um, learn the bait. I mean, learn the best time to fish. Cause obviously, if you want to catch more fish learn when the fish are active um now to know your bait you want to like go shopping and don't know anything and just have a big budget and just pick at stuff and you don't know if they're even fresh water or salt water you need to know your bait go research things and comment below and um, how to set the drag you need to know how to set the drag because if your drag is loose and you're pulling a fish it's not gonna feel like you're a good thing because the fish is still taking the line. So you need a tie in that. 
adjust it. Um, how to set the hook. You need to know how to set the hook. And you need to know how to tie. Like, you need to know how to tie everything in fishing. Just not one tie, because if some something happens or whatever, just learn more. And you could learn more. Why not? Um, to how to set the hook. Just because if you don't want to have um, just some fish going off every single time you get a bite. So, learn that. Now, um, know your species. Because if you think this is like a, a bass and it's something else, you're going to look like a fool even online. Oh boy, that's not going to be good for you. So, um, yeah, that's going to gonna wrap it up for today. I'm sorry it's so short, but if you need to know other stuff, comment. And um, so, yeah, but that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm sorry, but... Peace.